where the third edition of the India Central Asia Dialogue is presently underway in New Delhi. This is a three-day affair that started yesterday and leaders from five Central Asian nations are here in New Delhi to discuss ways to further strengthen ties with India, with a particular focus being this time round on trade and connectivity and Afghanistan's crisis will of course be an important topic on the agenda that is being discussed. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar host, is hosting this dialogue in New Delhi with the foreign ministers of Kazakhstan, the Kyrgyz Republic, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan in attendance. Now, During the opening statement of today's crucial meeting, S. Jayashankar assured India's readiness to take diplomatic relations to the next level. Despite the impact of the pandemic, our countries have sustain the momentum of our relations. I've had the privilege of meeting each one of you uh, in 2021 earlier, four of you in your own capitals. We are very pleased at the state of our bilateral relations, but we know that the potential is very much more. Each one of us today faces the test of rebuilding our economy our pursuit of SDGs must also be energized. But together, we can do this better. And India, I assure you, will be your steadfast partner. We already have a good history of cooperation. But my message to you today is a readiness to take it to the next level. Our ties must now focus around four Cs, commerce, capacity enhancement, connectivity and contacts. Now, the ministers are expected to pay a joint courtesy call on Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi after the crucial meeting today. And the dialogue is, of course, taking place in the backdrop of India reaching out to the five nations for participation of their top leaders as chief guests at the upcoming Republic Day celebrations in New Delhi. Emphasized uh, that dialogue. Now, earlier on Saturday, S. Jayashankar also held diplomatic talks with Tajikistan's foreign minister on the sidelines of the main event. During the talks, the two leaders also discussed issues of bilateral relations as well. Now, the two leaders also stressed on the need to implement the agreements that have been reached between the two countries to strengthen the mutually beneficial cooperation. According to the Indian Foreign Ministry statement, the two leaders discussed developments that are unfolding in Afghanistan. The Indian Foreign Minister also appreciated Tajikistan's participation in the regional security dialogue held in the month of November earlier this year. The two sides have also signed agreements on diplomatic training and program of cooperation. India considers Central Asia as a part of its extended neighbourhood. And the dialogue is, of course, the second meeting that's been organized by India after the 2020 virtual talks. And Vyond's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sivil, has been tracking this story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Take a look. The third India-Central Asia dialogue took place uh, today and we know that uh, during the opening statements, Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar talked about uh, the COVID crisis, how India and Central Asian countries uh, uh, worked together in the past, how India uh, supplied vaccines uh, to the Central Asian countries and thanked uh, the Central Asian countries for uh, keeping good care of Indian students. Remember, a lot of Indian students go to Central Asian countries for medical education. Afghanistan, of course, was one one, another dominating uh, factor of conversation. We know that uh, uh, three Central Asian countries, uh, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan share land border with Afghanistan and there is worry over a spillover effect uh, into their territories from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, the Taliban takeover is a cause of concern for many Central Asian countries. Uh, we know the Central Asian countries also uh, had a conversation. Uh, they spoke about celebration of diplomatic relationship uh, but above all, uh, this meeting is about celebration of the civilizational ties between India and Central Asian region as a whole and focus on how to take it forward. We know that the upcoming Republic Day Parade will see the five Central Asian leaders here in Delhi uh, invited as the chief guest and uh, that will be an occasion uh, that will enhance more uh, connections, more engagement between India and Central Asia.
with video journalist Chandrasekhar Siddhant Sibal for Vyond in New Delhi. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.